Welcome to the ship room. You're on the air. Every year, the Michelin Tire Company makes over 170 million tires in 70 factories spread across 18 countries. For about the next 18 minutes, I'll be talking to my guest, the enterprise architect at that same company, Christophe Pasquet. Hi, Brad. Thank you for coming to the ship room. It's a pleasure. Now, you are responsible for the collaboration and productivity within Michelin. Talk to us a little bit about the adoption of Teams and how fast it has happened at Michelin and how it's helping Michelin. Teams is um, is, a, is a great um, is a great story because uh, on one hand, obviously, um, it helped us moving away from uh, some of the technical challenges we had with Skype in the past, and um, and then suddenly uh, we had to make that shift. And we we are very very strong in the way that when something is decided at the scale of the organization. The implementation is somehow, from a technology point of view, uh, effectively done. And basically, we had to switch from Skype to Teams. But I have actually a little story to tell on that. Um, we, we, we planned an entire team of support and people were ready to... We had a crisis room, we had everything ready to, to be able to help the users. And I get down in the operations room with, with my colleagues and we are sitting up there and we, we don't understand because there are no calls coming up. So the service manager picks up the phone and he calls the help desk and he says, well, what's happening? Uh, they say, well, nothing specific. And our IT CTO is actually having a problem with his computer, not related to Teams. And he calls the help desk and finds out that the help desk team, as a, as a preventive measure, had recorded a message to say, we're having problem with Teams. <laughs> Please don't record a message um, because we're already actively no addressing way. it. We anticipated <laughs> but, being overloaded and nothing and, came And in. nothing came through. And uh, so, of course, we, we had to we, we remove a message within, within minutes of the help desk. It was a no event. It was a no event. Wow. And, and what's amazing today is that the users come to us um, and they tell us, um, I'm starting my meeting on time. I'm starting my meeting, the video is working. They're telling us some obvious things that we would think are normal, but actually for them it's a, it's a real they paradigm the shift difference. in the experience. Yeah. So it's, it's a great success. It's, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity again to build on that foundation of having that hub of teams available for them to do what they used to do, which is the conversational and the team building. But of course, also, it's a way for them to hook onto the SharePoint uh, experience and make them understand what knowledge management is and how to basically leverage um, uh, the, the, team, the team building that they didn't or they were not easily um, able to do in the past. It really delivers on the promise, you know, there is often, you know, that marketing speech and, and the reality. But I have to say that so far, it's, it's been actually very surprising because people come to us. It's something that they usually come to us when they have to complain, but that they, they forget to come to us when it works. And, and in, in many instances today, many of the leaders actually in the organization come up and saying that uh, the experience is uh, drastically different here. Yeah. So the region in France where Michelin is located that you live in is known for its cheese. That's correct, yeah, it's kind a of famous. The, recently, America, you know, we're no slouch in cheese as well. We recently won some awards in the, uh, in the World Cheese Awards. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'd love to get your opinions on some, uh, some other great cheese creations. Okay. Okay, first of all, this right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. So, this right here <laughs> is an American classic. It's full flavored with sharp, tangy bite. Some will detect a sweet cream or butter a butterscotch flavor. You know, I, 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 <laughs> I haven't had this since I was like... Do we have to try it? You don't have to. I can take one for the team on it. <laughs> All right, cheese number two. This is aged cow's milk mozzarella and exhibits a mild flavor with notes of citrus fruit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> It's not worth taking it. <laughs> oh, mm. man. Just say processed nacho cheese sauce in a champagne flute. <laughs> Maybe we can smell it. <laughs> it's, 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 it? it's, it's, not, it's not a good year, huh? Let's talk a little bit about the work that you've been doing with Microsoft 365 in security. Security, we, we obviously, um, the first step we had to do in, um, in securing the environment was to address the uh, devices. 
So deploying Intune, it's, it's a long process, but Intune was, de was deployed and that was the first, I would say, um, uh, layer that we had foundation we had to put in place. The rest is, of course, the deployment of Windows 10 yeah. and, uh, and the activation of uh, Office 365 in, in that complete set is starting to really reveal the value of the ecosystem. Do you feel that you're more secure now that you're using this integrated solution from Microsoft 365 than you were before? It depends who you ask. <laughs> I personally feel that um, we have a means we have means that we've never had in the past because we, again, we had segmented uh, uh, assets a little bit everywhere and uh, we were very much moving from a prescriptive process where security, we are defining rules and uh, the operational people were there to basically implement them and the user in the middle to try to comply with these rules with the means that were left uh, for it's them to, to apply them and we know very well that through audits uh, there were uh, remaining challenges. Today, there is no gap between the recommendation, the policies, and the actual uh, implementation. So it's definitely uh, a benefit, I would say, uh, for, for the users, because security people can actually measure in real time the effectiveness of their prescriptions. Hey, welcome to the ship room. Uh, you're here with Christoph. Who's this? Brad, hello again. It's Professor Tiberius Wainsworth with the Coalition for the Understanding and Advancement of Vulcanized Rubber and Cuisine-Based Expository Composition. So you got Christoph here. You have any questions for him? We at Quavrasec are having a bit of a public relations issue. It turns out that Michelin has created so many tires and reviewed so many restaurants that it's starting to get a bit difficult to keep it all straight. So I'm hoping Christoph can help me sort it all out. I'm going to give you a list of names and please tell me if it's a tire made by Michelin or a three-star Michelin restaurant. I call this little exercise radials or reservations. Et tu pray? That's French. <laughs> <laughs> radials or reservations. Uh, Dia Maris. Is that a uh, tire? It's a tire, yeah. Amador. Restaurant. Yeah, sounds like a restaurant to me. Alpin. Tire. Crawler. Restaurant. Alinea. Yeah, but tire. No. Restaurant. That's, that's, that's a <laughs> great name for a tire, though. Latitude. Uh, tire. Lassant. Restaurant. Arzac. Restaurant. Primacy. Tire. Caprice. Tire. Uh, restaurant, restaurant. Bon appetit, Christophe. But one last question before I leave you. You work in an industry that is constantly judged on how it is innovating and responding to customer needs. How do you make IT a driver and not just a supporting player in that innovation? How much time do we have? Uh, our IT actually has uh, undergone um, a project, we call it IT Showback. And the idea is to show the business the value of our ISIT yeah. investments. Uh, so that's the first thing, uh, just to try to understand that we're not a cost, but actually we add value in a driver. The, as a driver. And um, the second one, we, we also leverage um, the power platform um, to be very uh, uh, concrete. We also leverage the power platform in front of the business to try to close the gap that exists today between IT and the business and the shadow IT. And this has been a great opportunity for us to, uh, to bring the business in front of us and, and stop saying, no, we don't have money or the means to help them, yeah. but rather collaborate on their requirements and give them the agility that they, they require. You broadly use Microsoft 365. I'm just kind of curious, what are what you seeing as the primary benefits that the organization's getting? I think it's the um, integration capabilities. It's something that uh, we keep trying to highlight to, to mo most of the stakeholders. It's the ability to leverage the integration of, the, of an ecosystem that basically brings them the device, the collaboration solution, and the security and compliance, mm -hmm. which we're of course talking a lot these days. And it's something that uh, we've never seen holistically, honestly. It's something that uh, today is, is really a great opportunity to translate that from a threat point of view, the fear of something being globalized into an opportunity of managing assets at the scale of the organization that we've never done in the past. Okay, so as always here on the, on the ship room, we have a chatbot that's listening into our conversation and it analyzes the conversation and comes back with 12 questions that are related to what we've been talking about. Now, while we do the database does, and what you and I are gonna do apparently is we're gonna patch a tire. When was the last time you did this? Let's make the record straight, okay? This doesn't happen with Michelin tires. <laughs> exactly, first of all, okay? well said. 
But for competitive tires, we can try, yeah. Okay. <laughs> How much of Michelin's R&D budget is dedicated to tire swings? <laughs> so now the trick is to put the blue. But Are you disappointed or relieved that we still don't have flying cars? We are preparing for it. Preparing. Who would win in a fight? The Michelin Man or the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man? Who spells tire wrong? The Americans or the British? Not the Americans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many days would it take for you to eat an entire birthday cake? 15. Are you for or against cats having human names? No. Which invention is more important to mankind? Fire or the wheel? The wheel, of course. I think, you know, this we, This has to dry a little bit, but you know what? You and I did, did pretty good here for Yeah, yeah. You're gonna ride back home with it, or? Well, thanks for joining us here on this ship Thank room. You. If people wanted to learn more about you and what Michelin is doing, you know, either in IT or, or the Michelin the company, where would they go? Well, they definitely go to Michelin.com. Yep. And are you on LinkedIn if somebody had I a question LinkedIn, for you? Uh... So with that, another uh, episode of The Ship Room. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. It is Professor Tiberius Wainsworth with the Coalition for the Understanding and Advancement of Vulcanized Rubber and Pristine-Based Exercise. <laughs>